For our troops and their families, the military is more than a career. It's a journey. And every step along the way, the USO is there. It's very priceless to see these entertainers and these celebrities come out and have that personal contact with the troops. Shake that soldier's hand and say, I value what you're doing is an experience that that soldier will never forget. That's what the USO does. The USO has been, has been there since the very beginning, literally since boot camp, and they're still there for me today, and I really appreciate that. From the time they join to the time they transition out of the military, the USO is there, offering programs and support along the way. We get to our deployed location. I can call the kids and say, hey, you know, I'm still here. I may be a world away, but I'm still here. It's way more than a free phone call for us. It's the opportunity to stay connected, the opportunity to stay mom, and the USO makes it all possible. I had never written a resume. I had never been on an interview. I didn't think I had the skills that employers were looking for. But then I was able to find out that the USO has tons of programs, how to do a job interview, what to wear, what not to wear, knowing that there was going to be a life after the military. So thank you, USO. For over 70 years, the USO has continued to meet the needs of our troops and their families, standing with them when it counts. June 12th of 2012, I was injured in Afghanistan. My injuries were a left leg amputation and a right leg was limb salvage. It's kind of disheartening that my deployment was cut short. Even when I got injured, it was just like, you know, I'm not there to, to do my part. My unit just got back from deployment and I was trying to surprise my, my battalion. I get off the plane and everybody was applauding me with a big sign saying, welcome home. They took me to some room and then when I entered the room, it was like my whole unit was there. For the USO to take time out like that and just give me a walk home that I didn't have a chance to get meant a lot. Thank you, USO, for everything that y'all have done in my life and continue to do. Thank you. On July 24th, 2010, um, I was notified at, at home uh, that Jared, my husband, was missing in action. My aunt went out and got the mail, and there were these uh, two manila envelopes. They were from the USO in Kuwait. Jared had sent home videos previously of him reading to the kids. It was seeing him alive and well at the end of the video, not even a minute later, we received a knock on the door where Commander Grant notified us that, that Jared's body had been recovered, that he was deceased. Without the USO, we wouldn't have these videos. These are and memories that we'll be able to share with the rest of the family and when they get older, to be able to share with their family. The memories can't exist without hearing his voice and having those help them adjust and knowing that their daddy loves them. No matter what part of the journey our troops are on, the USO will be there to lift their spirits over 30,000 times a day, every day, and make a real difference in their lives.